Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up the Pocket PC 2002 driver uh, for the IPEX and so forth and the wireless card. It's very similar to the 2003. Alright, what you first thing you want to do is click on Start and go to Settings and then click on System. And, and you should see this icon here, AeroNet Client Utility that tells you that the driver for the wireless card is correctly installed. If that icon is not there, that means the driver is not installed and the card's not going to work no matter what you do. So make sure that you've installed it. Now I'm going to take the card and insert it. Now I'll give it just a second here to kick in. Okay, uh, here's what we want to do. We want to click on Start and go to Settings again. Then we want to go to Connections. Click on Connections. And you want to make sure this first drop down box about connecting to the internet is set to Work Settings. 99 times out of 100, that's what it needs to be. Don't change anything else, uh, just, just the top one there. Then we're going to click OK. Uh, now we're going to come down to network adapters and we're going to choose Cisco wireless LAN adapter and click OK. Okay, now hopefully the card is enabled and we can try to connect to the internet. Now I had previously set up Yahoo so that's a page that had loaded before we need to go to a different web page which I believe Windows Media is a good page on these machines and you can see it loaded very very quickly. Now that is the setup for a machine that doesn't use any sort of security. Uh, I need to show you how to set that up. So what we want to do if you use security on your machine is we need to close out Internet Explorer and then we need to go back to that AeroNet icon. Click on Start, click on Settings, System, and AeroNet Client Utility. Um, they're giving you what are called profiles here. A profile is simply a different setup so that you can use one profile with one uh, wireless network and a different profile with a different wireless network. So let's see uh, how we do this we could click on profile zero and click on edit and we have here SSID and it's asking for value you generally need to know the SSID of the network you're on and fill it in right here some routers are set up to broadcast their SSID and if that's the case uh, you don't have to fill it in it'll be filled in for you automatically but uh, anybody that knows anything about your particular network will know what that SSID is and can give it to you. We want to go to infrastructure mode and just make sure it is set to yes. And then the other thing we need to do is go here to WEP and you see that it has value no WEP. Now 99% of the people out there use WEP. It's a sort of password for the wireless network. I don't use any sort of security myself. I'm back in the boondocks. There's no one near me to steal any information, but most people do. So if you use WEP, you want to click here on static WEP key, and then you click here to put in your WEP key. Now, you got to be very, very careful because 99% of the problems with connecting to the internet is due to putting in the incorrect web key. So make absolutely, absolutely sure that you have the correct web key. Uh, you, as you can see, you can actually have four different web keys. Normally, people have it set to number one. Uh, so you can just uh, use the keyboard here to type in your web key. And you can tell it the size. Web keys come in, if I remember right, two different sizes. Uh, well, it's right here, 40-bit uh, size or 128-bit size. I think 40-bit is 26 characters, uh, and 128 bits is maybe 40 characters. Just do a search, a quick search on Google for uh, web key 
uh, 40 bit and it'll tell you very quickly uh, how long that web key is supposed to be. So you fill in your web key and you click OK and that will allow you to then uh, connect to the internet. So now I'm going to click cancel because as I said I don't use web keys. But that's really it. That's all you've got to do to connect to the internet. But if you do that and you have problems still, uh, call me. Oh, one other thing. After you set up your connections here, you want to do a soft reset. The way you do that is you go to the little hole on the bottom of the machine and you take your stylus and you poke it in just for a second gently and that reboots the machine. The reason is that when you install the driver, every time you reset the machine, it loads a new copy of the driver into the memory. So make sure to do that. Uh, and if you ever lose your connection to the internet and you just can't get it back, do a reset. Thank you very much.